Okay, what I'm going over today is the uh, cam duct wall outlet with a hidden camera. Charging system for your electronics. Open up the box here. First thing you notice is the um, user manual. It's got everything straightforward on how to uh, set up the camera, all the features about charging. And if there's any problems you have, you got the contact information. So we'll set that off to the side. Now the camera itself. Very sturdily built. It's got the plug-in for your outlet. This peg is just to hold it solid in the wall. This goes into your 120. And there's an SD card so it can record. You can record um, video and take pictures. Motion activated. I'll show you how to install the SD card. Okay, on the top of the camera there's a plate here. We have to get out to, so we can put in the micro SD card. Inside the box itself, underneath the plastic insert, there's some more tools. Gotta to take that out. We got the pick and a bolt. We open that up. Now this bolt itself is once you got her plugged in the wall where you want it, you can put the bolt in here and just to secure it better. And the pick to get the plate off. There's a little slot here. Pop it in and it pops that plate right off. There's a little slot here for your micro SD. Yeah, they got it uh, there's a little diagram here if you're not sure which way to put it in, but it only goes in one way. So if it doesn't go in one way, simply put it in the other way. <laughs> and press her down. I just use my nails, or you can use this pick. I just use my nail to press her down. Here, a little click, and it goes in. You know it's in with a little click. And there we go, and then you put the plate back on, and it's good to go. Also in the box is the micro SD card reader. So that's good, they sent you a reader. USB. Right here is a little slot, you just pop your SD card in here after you take it out of the camera. And then into your computer or wherever you want to view it footage. Yeah, we'll just uh, get to know the camera a little better here over some of the features on it. Here we got the built-in lens behind. You can't even see it because it's a hidden camera obviously. There's the indicator lights that'll come on when you plug it in. You got the red over here, blue over here. We got the USB ports, one, two, and a type C port in the center. 5 volt 2.1 amp. You got your four AC outlets. If you look at the top, the SD slot that we went over already. And there's a little hole here that's a reset button. If you ever have to reset the camera. I'll just run through some additional features our specs on the camera itself before we get it um, operating. Uh, you got HD 4MP video. There's data security. Uh, it's hidden, obviously a hidden camera. Motion detection. So if someone walks in front or your pet, if you want to view what your pet's up to, it'll set a motion sensor. 
you got access uh, through Wi-Fi, so anywhere in the, that you have Wi-Fi connection or an internet, you can view it away from home. Uh, 120 degree angle, angle of view, 120 degree. Uh, no data monitoring, so if you just want to observe it while you're at home, you can connect with no data, directly access the camera up to 30 meters away. Uh, it's just three easy steps to connect. You just download the app, plug in the camera, add the device on the app, and you view in real time. And that's the next step we're going to take. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to use this extension cord. This will be our wall socket. So you simply plug it into one the top, depending how your uh, socket's set up. And the black tab is a guide into the ground hole of your second socket. And it just plugs right in. Simple enough. Okay, once it's plugged in, you'll have your indicator lights, your red and your blue, just indicating that it's booting up. Okay, do you simply click on your app, start, click on the arrow, so you want to watch it live. And here you can go uh, whether you want to connect to the Wi-Fi or just use it, um, not remotely, like use it locally. So we'll just skip that. And you can see the nice image. You can go MP4, or 4MP, sorry, or 1080. And down on some of the controls you have, you can hit record. Record as long as you want to record, hit record again, stops recording and it stores it for you. You want to take a photo, take a photo. And you want to go max screen, you can go max screen. A lot of detail. Look at the good quality of that video. It's awesome. It's got the date, it's got the time stamp good to have if anyone breaks into your property or into your house It'd be good for um, for the police so got your files news and that's all there is to it I'll do some uh, video and splice it in so you can kind of see exactly how the video looks Okay, here's an example of uh, how you can put your phone on top. Plug in your cord, obviously. Phone on top. And plug her in charging. Voila. Now you just got to be aware that your camera is in the center there. So you don't want cords and stuff going across it if you can help it. Other than that, it looks like a normal wall charger with your AC plugins. Excellent for stealth. Now imagine if someone was to walk into your kitchen, break into your house and walk in your kitchen, or wherever you have it plugged in, you'd catch them right away with the motion detection. I hope this video helped you out. If you had any uh, questions or were curious about this uh, device, and if you think it would be something that you could use, there will be a link in the description.
Please comment if you have any questions. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I'll catch you on the next video. Stay safe. Dream the dream.